Hello everyone, this is Story and we are playing Sims Medieval and right now we are going to find our future quest. Let's see what we've got. I don't know, we need security most of all, even though we have hired blacksmith and a knight. That's not enough apparently. What that? What's that? Whispers were circulating of an evil that had descended upon the kingdom. The rumors had everyone jumping in shadows and levels of distrust were high among the populace. If something was not done soon to alleviate the people's fears, neighbors would begin accusing neighbors of random evil acts. Yeah, let's, let's try to do that. A knight, right? Yes, that is a knight. And supporting hero a spy. Interesting. Let's do that. Let's work together. Okay, what do we have here? It's not furnished. That's all? That's all your place? You're very modest. Okay, let's check out. I will give him another one. Okay. Yeah, let's let's just take everything away and put something new. Let's see what we've got. How much you have? 5,000. That's a lot. Okay, what do we have? Let's do this one. Maybe like that. Yep. No, that's, that's a little bit too sweet. So maybe this one. Let's see. Yes, this one is more appropriate, I think. Let's do this. And then we need a cooking. Thing. Where is it? Yes, I wanted to give him this one because it, it has a nice corner. So let's put the bed somewhere. No, I don't like the bed. <laughs> I want another bed. Okay. Let's do something like I want this one. Okay, I just want this one. So just please accept this. And now I want to change this. And yeah, let's let's just leave this one here. Yes, that's nice. Like that, I think. And some lightning. Lighting, I mean. Okay. Maybe here. Wait. Oh, that's very sweet. But I think a little bit inappropriate for this situation. Oh, that is a good lightning. Light. <laughs> okay, and here. That is very bright. But it's kind of nice. Okay, so let's do that. Now we need a table, right? Let's check out what we have. Yes, that is ni a nice table. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I like it better. And now we need a chair. Exactly. That and that. And maybe some washing things. Let's do that. He will have a nice little corner with these things. I think that looks very nice, right? Maybe not. I don't know. And yes, he is a queen's knight, so let's do... Can I put it higher? Nope. Oh, we can put it here. Yes, that's exactly how I want it to be. Very nice. Okay, let's sleep because he needs some sleep before he can go and make important things. She doesn't have some tasks also. And she also needs to go to sleep. Oh my god. The bed is still here. That's terrible. I need to fix it when I can. Go and sleep. Why do they go to the tavern? I mean, I kind of get it because what other, you know, leisure activities did you have back then? You couldn't go to the cinema, 
you know you couldn't go where do people go <laughs> cinema restaurant I mean did they have yeah tavern is a restaurant technically kind of let's see present these uh, thyself to the queen yeah that's interesting that earlier they had in English um, this like the because now you have only you for both plural and singular so that's interesting it's bad Sir George a visiting Marcus has gone missing after visiting the docks to check out on his holdings. News has already spread to his homeland where they've proposed an edict to impose a trade embargo upon us. Go search the ship for information. Of course, my queen, of course. We will go and find out what is wrong. Yes, arrived at the docks, ready to begin his investigation. Search the ship. Of course. And what do you need to do? Check for a secret drop. Where? At the post? Oh, wait, she had the second floor. How could I know that? I thought that was, uh, that was her only room. And she has the second floor. I didn't know that. Does the knight also has the second floor? No sign of anything untoward, but apparently there are two new visitors to the Kingdom of Story that might have some information. Okay. We will check it out. Then you need to eat. And now you... Yes, you need to talk. We need to have a better relationship, of course. Tell a joke. You're such a funny guy. Why are they so... Wait, what's going on? What's, what's wrong? Apologize. Okay, funny. Tell a joke, I guess. Friendly. Ask about health. What's wrong? I don't understand. Apologize. Potato soup. Chat. Just chat. Just nothing special. Get to know this person. Discuss artistic world and tell a story. Nothing. Nothing too suspicious. Why? Why? What happened? Just chat. Just please, simple chat. Please. Oh my god. I didn't know that this would be so difficult to start. Okay. Ask about health. Just nice conversation. Okay. Then gossip. Everybody loves. No, not everybody loves gossip. Apologize. And now friendly. Oh, wait, I can do it. Good. A missing Marquise? I knew a Marquise once. Or maybe it was a Marlin. You ever been fishing on the open waters? Big beasts, Marlin, horrible, difficult to pull in. Once you get them, though, they slice up real nice. Make a fine bait. Catch yourself a good grouper or tuna. Yeah. Let's question the captain. Where is the captain? Yes. Captain. Oh! Timothy? Sir George said as he pushed aside the door. A boy jumped from his place on the floor and scrambled atop the bed. He curled up and buried his head into his chest, while his legs shook uncontrollably. George sat on the edge of the bed, doing his best to be non threatening. I'm Sir George. George. I have some questions, but Timothy spoke not at all in response to the questions. Whoa! Sir George pressed his questioning until he eventually broke the child's silence. Timothy described a demonic figure. It ate them, sir, then beggars at the harbor. 
When my uncle sailed in, I jumped aboard. I'm not even going home. You can't send me back to Kalerva. I won't go. The boy pulled the covers over his head and traveled beneath. Further questions were met with silence. Terrible. Poor boy. Okay, request leave from the queen. Yes. And now you. What did you need to do? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Oh, the wrong button. I meant this one. No. Okay, what do you need to do? Check for a secret drop. Where is the baby? I guess it's not as small as it was. Wait, is this the baby? Is it? It's the baby! Hi! Hello! He's talking to his father. This is a prince. He has his mother's brows. <laughs> or his father's? No, his mother's. And he looks like his mother. That's kind of sweet. Okay, what did we do? Okay. Oh, that's that's a pigeon do you see that's a pigeon okay um, destroy the note in the well of course where else would you destroy a note examine let's examine and then we will destroy a note in the well we have so many new things that's so cool okay poison the well why why would you do that you drink from that well too write a letter of introduction okay let's do this wait how where should he write it i believe he also has a second floor now i think so let's check it out yes he does um but we don't have anything here and we don't have much money that's a shame okay let's do something about it and he doesn't have any light in here that's so dark let's just try to make it a little bit brighter right it should be nice good now he needs to write something so let's give him where he can write profession yeah good let's put it right here and here will be like the warrior zone this is a tactical one and just like that yes it looks nice he doesn't have a lot of money now but what can we do now he needs to eat make food sorry you don't have anything special unfortunately what's that sharpen sword yeah we can do that okay good and now train a sim for two hours yes we can also do that nice and you what do you have meet with the Maisie where is this person no really how how do I find them Maisie's note said she'd be at the forest okay we can go to the forest what is that is it a village? Wow, I didn't see it before. That's pretty cool. Okay, where is the forest? Let's go there. Um, wait, she said she will be at the forest. Is it this woman? No, it's not. It is not. Oh, I found her. <gasps> wait, she's cute. Can we, like, have relationship with her? Let's have relationship with her. She's very cute. I like her a lot. Ask about her health. And then ask about religion. Artistic work. 
Oh, yep, yep, yep. Wait, no rough house. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's do that. And then we can... What can we do? We can... Praise her beauty a little bit. What is that? How should Underspy Claire proceed? My first loyalty is to the crown. I should inform Lady Elizabeth the Great and seek her guidance. Sergeant at Arms Brandon knows of all the comings and goings of the kingdoms of Storia, I can get information out of him. I mean, she's a spy, she should be loyal to the queen, so let's talk to the queen. But after, we will deal with this girl. I think she likes us. Yay! Get to know her. Now serenade. Then gaze into her eyes. Romantic hug. She's singing. Yeah, yeah. Roll, roll your eyes a little bit. Okay. Nice. First kiss. Good. Wait. Did she refuse? She refused. How could you? How could you? Okay, a little bit more. Now gaze into eyes, then hold hands, then undying devotion, romantic hug, serenade, woo, and then first kiss. Wait, is he still doing that? Sorry, I forgot about you, to be honest. Okay. Now. Still no? How dare you? How dare you? Okay, what should I do? Uh, go to the queen. Inform. Let's go and inform her about the troubles in the kingdom. Where is she? Good. If this artifact has anything to do with the Marquis' disappearance, I want you to help in Sir George. Uh, go back to your messenger and see what else you can learn. Do I really need to go to her again? She didn't want to kiss me, you know? You duel the challenger, train sim for two hours. I thought you were training for like eternity, no? Could you please wake up? Wait, you shouldn't train someone, you need to practice yourself. Another fight to the trained army, yeah. I don't understand. I think it has been two hours. Something is wrong. Okay, let's just don't do that. And then we need to go and send letter of introduction. Okay, let's do that. Send a letter of introduction and now discuss investigation with Macy. Okay, we can discuss investigation even though she doesn't want to be with us. Which is a shame, you know? She's beautiful, we are beautiful. Why not? Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's let's give her one more chance. Let's get to know her. Let's tell a story. Let's ask about her health. Ask how fair the then woo, then romantic hug, then that that. Okay. Go to the barracks. Yeah, go to the barracks. Good friend, really. Now romantic. First kiss. Third time is a charm. Yay. And now you should be courting. Wonderful. And now you. You are sleeping. Which is okay, I guess. Okay, let's see. <gasps> What's with your face? What's with your face? Oh, it's because of this, right? Nah, 
that's okay again bad food we need to buy some food for him but you know he needs to do other things first like travel to Kulervo and she needs to eat what is that? nervous wreck from insecure fatal flaw talked wait what while sounding the depths near a dangerous reef a pock faced deck cadet uh, yelled out mermaid lo and behold as the crew gathered around of course we need to talk to her received mana stone what is that clever looked to be a town arising in you from the ashes its people smiled readily enough but when asked spoke dark days past they spoke in hushed voices of disappearances and referred to it an evil stalking them the guardsmen chalked it up to bandits and wolves as sir george sailed homeward homeward he focused his thoughts on fisherman ezekiel folks had recalled that he was new to their lands there less than a few months none said it outright but george felt it it was more than a coincidence that spirits began to rise after ezekiel's departure interesting there are no coincidences you know usually okay what do you need to do oh you need to talk to her okay go and talk to her attack or sail away uh, dreaded pirate Corsair. yeah let's attack he's a strong guy upset buff okay that's fine he will be all right go and talk to her sir george needs my help gathering information from some of his suspects the direct approach failed so it's time for a more subtle approach i'll need a disguise time to diy okay spring of belladonna oh so we need some plants okay that's fine we can gather some plants that's not a problem these guys let's pick up some plants here oh and this guy he needs to go to the shop Do you see what we have now? That's so cool. I really like it. Okay, more, more. She's very pretty, to be honest. I really like how she looks. Okay, you need food, my dear knight. Let's see what we can give you. You need, you know what you need? You need onion and turnip. Because they are very cheap, but they will give you what you need. And now, could you collect some more? Do you need more? I don't know. Now you need to feed the beast. Let's go to the judgment zone for that. Oh, he's already feeding the beast. But I can do it again. Jump into a pit. Okay, I want to try it because now we fed it, so he shouldn't kill us, right? Let's try it. Whoa! Leap of faith, take a trip down Judgment Pute Lane. Whoa! Why Zodiac signs? Do you see yours? <laughs> I saw mine. What's going on? Whoa, that's interesting. Oh my god, do I really need to decide? The beast roared madly and snapped, grabbing onto Spy Claire in its horrible jaws claire jabbed furiously at soft tissue in the roof of the creature's mouth until it snorted and sped her back to the ground roll left wait in seconds the beast was on claire again 
Okay. Left. I received 100 HP. Do sword blade. That's very cool. Wait. Did you? She's incredible. Great job, darling. And now you just need to pay taxes. <laughs> That's much easier, right? Because you have the money. <gasps> but he doesn't. He couldn't pay the taxes. Poor knight. Okay. He stole? Why did he steal? Strange man. Because he doesn't have any money? But it's... You sh no, I would have helped you. Oh, this is a cool blade. This is a very cool blade. I want to see it. No, I can't. Sorry. Okay, what do I need to do? Brew these guys. Bolt of cloth? Is it also in the shop? Bolt of cloth. Of course it is here, because where else? <gasps> is this little prince? No, it's not. Okay, I got too excited. They grow up so fast. Okay. Do we have... Yeah, it's here. Interesting. Yeah, let's buy a couple. And let's buy some more food, because why not? And she's very rich, so she can afford it. She can buy whatever she wants, really. Yeah. Salmon, tench, everything you want, darling. Boar meat, even. Yep. Can we give some to him? Lecture them. Weak curative tonic. Pay oh no, she ne he needs to pay taxes. But he can't. <gasps> he can sell mana stone. Right? Because it doesn't do anything. Sell things. Mana stone. Oh, it's expensive. So, yeah. Now you have some money. That's good. Now you can pay taxes. Great, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. As George picked his way past the village market stalls. Oh, yeah. Mystery herbs. Let's buy mystery herbs. Why not? Uplifted buff. Wonderful. Is it good? Right? Uplifted? Yeah. Pay taxes. Did you pay taxes? Yes, you did. Now you need to feed the beast. You too? Why do you all need to feed this guy? Has no monster worthy meat to feed the beast. <gasps> okay, go and buy some meat. Do you need to go home? Enter. All right. And you need meat. Now you have a little bit of money. So that should be fine. Meat. Then more meat. Oh, yeah, that's better. A little bit of fish for you too. Pigeon. And maybe some of this, even though it's expensive. I don't know what the beast wants. So let's check it out. He has such a strange face all the time. Okay. Where is the beast? I always forget where it is. Feed the beast. And now you. You're at home, I hope. Yes, you are. And now, do that. Now she needs to eavesdrop and pick the fisherman's pocket. But she needs to use her disguise, right? Put on. Oh, like a regular person. I see, I see. Let's go. And what do we need to do with him again? Pickpocket. Let's go. How should we approach this? He's managed to pickpocket 44. A journal. This would be of interest to Sir George. That would. Now we need to eavesdrop. But for that he needs to talk. Wait, nephew. Nephew's here. 
Yes, let's go. Is anything happening? Nothing but prayers to the watcher and some muffled sobbing came from the boys' room. That's disturbing. That is true. Why no interactions available? Is he sleeping? Okay, sleep for a little. Can you also sleep here? Yeah, go sleep. You also need some energy and you need to talk. Oh my god, really? It's middle ages. You're both with knives. What are you afraid of? Okay. Give the journal. I think upon thee, any new slaver, as the day rises and the sun sets and the waves recede into ocean's grasp. Animus, shall I seek thee again? I know that name, but from where? Maybe Maisie would know more of this. Write late letter to Maisie. Yeah, you can write letter to her. You are dating after all. Let's go. Where is she? Yes. And now you? Contemplate the current situation to spend time with your thoughts and tactical map. Okay, we can do that. Why not? Right? The hour is a bit unreasonable to be sending messages to each other, don't you think? Try me again at a more appropriate time of the day. It's not a telephone, the letter will come out or come in the morning anyway. I recall now a Nemu slaver was the subject of a child's fable, a tale meant to scare the weak and harden the heart of the strong. I'm sure I can find a copy at the village. Yeah, but he doesn't have a lot of money to buy things. Okay, go to the village and you need to write letter again. Go here because when you will be here you can send this letter and it will be appropriate. He needs to buy a book of fables. Is it here? Yes. Let's buy it. Wait, place the bat, refuse the bat. 50 golden similes. Makeshift table. Okay, the gambler cackled as George walked off with a somewhat lighter purse. That's fine, don't worry, darling. Now you need to read a book. And you... <gasps> Wait, what? Page 1. The Tale of Eric, the Rise and Fall of the Well-Intentioned Monarch. Eric, Prince of Melnai, vanquisher of the Hordes from the North, brought forth the blade a, a new slaver from its sheath and held it before his people. Animus, the Blade of Souls, Animus, Savior of Melni. Where many years passed that Prince Elric, the slave of Animus, knelt before the graves of his wife and children and wept. All was now gone. The kingdom, the people, his family, all taken by Animus. Only spirits remained. Okay, I see. Confront the fisherman. And you write a letter. Yes, we need to write a letter to her. I remember that. Let's do this. Wait. Send it here. And now confront the fisherman. Let's do that. I received your letter. How dare you imply such things? I never... What do you mean? Oh, she needs to write it. To write it. Wait, what? I don't see. What do you mean? Yeah. Okay, good. You need to hide message for Maisie. Where? Now to drop it off at the all messenger post. Oh, okay, I see. 
You can hide it, of course. And then pass an addict? You can do that? Really? You can? No, no, no. Let's do another one. No, we need to have good relationships with everyone. So, no, no, no. What do we need to do now? Demand the sword. Let's do that. Oh. Whoa. Do you see that? What's that? Whoa. Admire a new slaver? Wait, what? The blade beckons to me to pull it from its sheath and admire it. Great. So, he gone mad. The sword passes with energy. I see empires burning, armies advancing. A lone figure holding forth animals calls to all to follow him to victory, to glory, to life eternal. How could the fisherman become so frail when he held at his fingertips such incredible power? Wonderful. Equip the animus sword and test it on training dummy. Okay, equip. Well, even though I don't think something good will come of it, but we don't really have a choice. So let's do that. That's a quest. I hope she will save him. Let's do that. Test animus. Now we need to seek comfort from it, which makes perfect sense. Okay, eat. And now admire again. Oh, hi. Hi, Maggie. She's... Okay, I'll leave you alone. And magical sword. Wonderful. Now you need to spar with Sergeant at Arms Brandon. Sure. Where is him? Yes, knight. Yes, let's do that. Okay, and he needs to sleep very soon. Oh, why are you fighting? Okay. He has won. I need wealth within me, a desire I'm able unable to deny to hunt. So you need to go hunting. Of course, why wouldn't you? Right? Where is the forest? Forest. Go and hunt with animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. What will happen now? Oh! Sir George was distracted during his hunt by the blade within his grasp. He found it difficult to take his eyes from it. Without warning, a wolf jumped upon him. Of course, without warning. Its teeth barred and angry. In an instant, Animus swung and buried itself into the wolf's side. The beast had no time to howl. As it fell limp upon the forest floor, a feeling of euphoria washed over Sir George as he knelt beside the beast, taking what he could to make a meal of it. I see. So we need to admire this thing again, of course. Yeah, let's admire it again. Let's do this. Why does the power not return? Animus would not abandon me. What have I done wrong? So again. So George's thoughts filled with visions of war, destruction and conquest. One image above all others stood out. He floated about the churning water, the dead piled upon the ocean floor, and he alone held life at his fingertips. Sir George could not decide if this was a vision of torment of glory, but a sudden hatred filled his mind. 
Animus shall free you. Flashed across his mind's eye. Okay. Check for drop. Makes sense. And we need to pickpocket and pass an edict. I don't want to do that. I know that they are going to be sad, but I just don't want to do these little tasks today. Okay, the message read. I mean you slaver and the artifact are indeed the same. Animus is an ancient demon. Animus slaver who soul was captured within the blade. Animal is vengeful and exists with but one purpose, to consume and destroy. Do not under any circumstances unsheathe it. You must return it to the council for study and dismounting immediately. As a precaution, I am including a recipe for reason mist, a potion that should break free any who have fallen under the animus influence. Makes sense. Warn Sir George. Oh, he's sleeping, of course. Uh, you could sleep too, by the way. And you could also eat. Yeah. Let's make some food. Frog soup. Fancy girl. What's that? Enjoying solitude. <laughs> eat. And then sleep. And you are already sleeping. That's good. Okay. And now you need to go and talk to him. Let's warn him about the sword. That did not go well. He must already be under a sword's influence. Okay, acquire the ingredients to sage ward. So we need to go to the village. Let's buy some things. <gasps> what the hell? Don't you dare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good girl. Well done. I'm proud of you. Let's do this. Yeah, we need my favorite plant ever. Where is it? I remember that it's far down usually. Right? Yes, this one. Okay. Nice. And we need a book. Yeah, let's buy a book. Manual of Blacksmithing, Watcher's Blade, and Legendary Angel's Talon. That's fine. Acquire the ingredients. Yes, I did. Wait, I did. Oh, wait. Fattened leeches and a sugar pear. Okay, let's go again. Pear and leeches. Pear? Really? I didn't see it before. Yeah, it's here. And leeches. I think they're here, right? Yeah. Nice. That is good. Yes, we did that. I don't understand. What's wrong? I acquired the ingredients. Wait, fattened leeches. So it's, it's not regular leeches. Wait, not that. Yes, it's not. Whoa, it's expensive. Okay. Stop the mob, blend in. Get out of here, shouted the mob. We don't want you kind here. Okay, stop the mod. Major laceration buff, received potato. Oh, now she's in a bad mood, but that's all right. Soak the ingredients. I have to drop the pear and two leeches into the town's well. Let's do that. I remember having blood pear soup as a child. 
What's this mom's secret recipe? Retrieve the blood pair. Okay. Yep. Those are blood pairs, just like mom used to make. Yikes. Yeah, agree. Yikes. Create the reason missed draught. Where? In the cooking area, you mean? All right, let's go. And you need to eat, by the way. I think she has cure potions, right? Let's check it out. Yes, she does. Can we use it? That's good. Now, make food. Because you need to eat, my darling. Wait, where should you do that? Here. Great. Which one? Reason missed trot. She doesn't have a good chance of succeeding, so she needs to have a better mood for that. Let's buy her some things. So she could, you know, be more be happier, so to say. Okay, let's put it here. And this is another area. Now we will have this thing. And this thing. No, that one. Yep. Good. Go. We need to put you in a better mood. Now here. Now here. Okay, she feels better, but still not very nice. Let's do it. Okay, she feels very good. So we need to make a potion. Okay, reason mist. Great. We have level up. The final ingredient dissolve into the liquid with a curl of smoke. Let's give it to him. Yeah, yeah, go. Why aren't you going? Make friends. So we need to make friends first. That makes sense. Friendly chat. Ask about religion, about musical preferences, health, discuss the kingdom, artistic work, wonderful, keep talking, just keep talking, yeah, 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 very interesting, let's talk again, we need to become friends, so I could heal you. You understand, right? Good. And now give potion. Nice. What happened? Explain the situation. So George listened to underspy Claire, unable to comprehend everything she was telling him. His memories remained clouded as underspy Claire attempted to shed light upon them. And then, you, and then you drank the potion. A flash of light blinded Sir George, his memories returned. As quick as that, it all refocused. Sir George recalled everything about animals, about the investigation, about... Oh no! It was not you, Sir George. Claire tried to comfort him. I let the man die. And now you have a chance to make things right. Give me the sword. I will see that it is destroyed. Uh, what should Sir George do? Under spy, Claire has earned my trust. If she believes the sword can be dismounted, I shall honor the trust. Yes. I think it's gonna be alright. <laughs> now she needs to deposit the cursed sword at a messenger post for destruction. 
Let's do this. That evening, Sir George had nightmare. Animus had a new shell of a man it had enslaved, and through him it brought an army to lay waste to the kingdom of Storia. This was not the last he would dream of Animus. Each day he would inquire of Under Spy Claire how fares the journey? Has the messenger delivered Animus? Is it destroyed? Days passed into weeks, and still no word of Animus' demise, but Sir George continued to inquire without fail. Finally, a day came and went with no inquiry and another, and a third with no questions from Sir George. Animus had been destroyed, its influence was gone. Wonderful! Okay, this was a long episode, I hope you will forgive me for that, and I hope you still enjoyed it. Please follow this let's play and my channel, I'm very glad to spend time with you, so have a wonderful day. See you. Bye.